So what, what, are the, what are the varying degrees of feelings people had? Uh, so uh, some people uh, very close to the earthquake will hear the earthquake. So the shaking actually transmits from the earth into the atmosphere and they can hear the rumble um, to as far away as, you know, a very light vibration. Or if you're in a, a, a upper story in a building, you might get a slight sway. But very close, they had shaking for 30 plus seconds of, um, of, of a rumbling plus uh, walls rattling and, and things falling off shelves. Much in the way of damage? Uh, no, very little. So uh, we don't tend to expect earthquake uh, damage from uh, magnitude 3.8. Uh, you don't tend to get more yeah. significant damage or start to get cracking until around magnitude four and a half. Yeah, I mean, it's it's good news that we're not talking about anything more serious. I mean, there was a, there was a much more serious one that hit Melbourne a couple of years ago, uh, ago now, Hugh. How, how rare uh, are these quakes around Melbourne? Uh, so while the small and medium-sized earthquakes are quite common, so within 100 kilometres of this one uh, that we had last night, we've had uh, 29 in the past 10 years, so you're averaging nearly three a year, whereas the very large ones, say the magnitude 5.9 in 2021, um, they're very rare. That was actually the largest, largest we've instrumentally ever recorded in Victoria. So yeah. um, they're very rare. They do happen, but they're, they're, they're quite rare. So, um, right. the so do you regard this as small or medium? Uh, medium is starting to get up there in, in Australia. So once we start to get towards magnitude four, they're, they're, it's much more widely felt. Okay. Uh, the shaking that can be very minor damage. So that's where I start to, to consider them to be medium. Can it be a sign of bigger ones to come at all? It's unlikely, but it's, we never rule it out. It is possible. We do have rare occurrences in Australia where we get what we call a foreshock, where you have an, an earthquake or sequence of earthquakes followed by a larger earthquake. They're very rare though. We tend to more get the classic um, earthquake uh, or uh, main shock followed by aftershock. So for example, in this case, if we have a 3.8 followed by some magnitude two earthquakes, that would be the standard earthquake sequence. Okay. But we never rule out the chance of a large one. Thanks for your time, Hugh. Talk to you soon. No worries.